What does being a coastal cowgirl mean to you? Ooh. Okay, a coastal cowgirl. I think it's just about having fun. I think um, with being in Charleston, you know, it's obviously a southern city. There's a lot of southern roots here. Mm -hmm. We also have the beach. So for me, it means um, having that kind of like southern twang twist while also being a beachy girl. Right. It's also a, um, you know, it's a popular thing going on right now. I think country is really big right now mm. and um, a lot of girls are wearing some cowgirl boots. I bought right. myself a pair. <laughs> so it's definitely some type of what you call a trend. Um, I think with my work, I try to do take a trend that's going on but then also twist it a little bit right. so it adds a unique element to it. So as far as this one goes, we still do have um, a drawing of the cow boots, um, or cow, bo cow girl boots, <laughs> but then we have some of my artwork that I actually made, say about two years ago, that I attached to the matchbook. Mm -hmm. um, the element of a playing card, which is something just fun that I like, that I wanted to kind of bring to the print. And yeah, so we have like the howdy baby here. But I think it's just supposed to be lighthearted and fun and, you know, country, what it reminds me of summertime and right. um, the beach and surfing kind of like fits that element too. So combining two different things that don't really seem to fit, right. but they do. So yeah. And, um, what, it, how did, how, how did you get it started with indulgent art? Like what inspired it? That's a great question. Um, I got started... Well, I guess you could say I got started my whole life. I made the <laughs> Indulgent Art account in like, college, mm -hmm. um, my sophomore year of college, just as kind of a personal account where right. I just painted what I was feeling and posted it to the account just so I can keep it steady. Mm -hmm. And then I graduated from college in 2020 during a pandemic. Um, the pandemic was obviously tough for everyone. It gave me the chance to really take some time to explore what I wanted to do with mm -hmm. the rest of my life. So that's where Indulgent Art became more of a business. I decided to create art uh, more frequently and experimented with a mixed media style. Got into the city market in 2021. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's now 2024. So <laughs> <laughs> growth. That's kind of yeah, that's it. So we're we're at the city market, Marion Square, and Second Sunday on King Street. That's, that's beautiful. That's kind of where it started. And um, last question: How can you inspire others, other artists, if they want to create, if they're thinking about creating, if they want to paint or do anything? How can how can you inspire them? Or what words of inspiration do you have for them? I think the inspiration comes from anywhere. Um, it comes from it comes from taking time to not do anything, <laughs> to kind of sit in yourself and your peace mm -hmm. and the day to day and find find a little bit of creativity in in every day. I think right. the, even just starting small, I would say take a sketchbook and just if someone wanted to get into their creativeness, you know, take a sketchbook and just jot down a little sketch every day, mm -hmm. and then maybe you'll start. Um, expanding on that. Right. Start drawing a picture. Maybe one day it'll be a painting a week. So whatever that may be, mm -hmm. um, I would say just start small and be consistent with it because creativity is all about consistency and um, there's no wrong answer to creativity. And right. Yeah, and inspiration, it, it can come from anywhere. So just keep your eyes open. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bless